Hey guys, today I'm reviewing for you an application called TeamViewer. It's an application that normally allows you to control your computer using your phone. But today I'm reviewing the feature that allows you to control your phone using your computer. So let's go ahead and dive in. The app itself was originally featured on the XDA portal site by Harun Raja. It explains that the application itself currently supports Samsung TouchWiz based gingerbread or later phones and that hopefully in the future they will have more application that they will support. If you go into the XDA thread that was featured by Sweetboy02125, he gives us a download link for the application itself through the Google Play Store as well as the desktop client that you need so that you can control your phone. Let's go ahead and go into the uh, Google Play Store. Just look for TeamViewer Quick Support by TeamViewer. There's other apps that are provided by TeamViewer. This is the one you'd need to be able to control your phone. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it on, install it on the phone, and uh, let's see how it goes. After you install the desktop application and then you install the application on your phone, you want to launch the application and also the application on the phone at the same time. And from there, you can actually get a code that you're able to input into the desktop application and then say connect to, co to partner, which will give you an option on the phone to approve. And once you have that, you end up having basically a cover or a representation of your screen uh, on your phone screen actually um, on your computer. You're able to open up folders, close them. You're able to able to also you know go into your app drawer, um, you know, and then select different pages from the app drawer. You can actually even do the back and forth. This is one of the options here you have on the on the Galaxy um, you know S3. But the main feature is it's, it's you really can control it from both ends. You can go into the phone and then start controlling it using the the regular touch motions, or you can use the mouse on the screen and then control it. The controls are a little bit laggy or it really depends on the network that you have. Overall, I'm using a screen recording on the, on the computer, but the actual Galaxy S3 is running normally without any constraints. So I would say realistically what happens is over Wi-Fi, depending on how connection is, uh, you'll get better performance or worse performance. But again, this is a standard end network uh, that I have here at home, so I don't see a reason why it wouldn't work any, you know, the same way for everybody else. Uh, the main main benefits is again you're able to control your phone without having to have your phone sitting in front of you and you're able to multitask uh, as you're doing work or if you're browsing the internet without having to do any of those great things um, and then you're able to go into browser you know open up internet you know again I get the default one here I can stop you know I can go to a Google search and say XDA and it recognizes your keyboard and your mouse uh, controls and again very simple very easy quick and you can select and then follow the instructions and then go from there it does desktop mode by default um, as far as pinch to zoom you do have to use your phone to be able to do this but other than that it works very good I highly recommend it to anybody that's using a Galaxy or a Samsung TouchWiz type of a device again with either gingerbread or higher um, you know soon will be jelly bean but other than that it, I think it's a very good uh, app please check it out Okay, the application does what it promises and it does it very well. I used it over a few times. Actually, you guys have seen this in some of the other videos that I've done before I started taking straight video on the phone. It works over a good Wi-Fi connection. Definitely an N would help. Again, the gingerbread or higher Samsung TouchWiz device is kind of a requirement right now. But other than that, it works very well. And hopefully more devices will be supported in the near future. Please let me know what you guys think like and subscribe this video and if you have any recommendations for future applications or for me to review any other applications please let me know in the comments i would really appreciate that thank you